What's up, go gang? How y'all doing? Um, while I was preparing to do this video, um, that's why I click so fast. Usually I'd be prepared. I was just getting the energy of it like somebody feels really jittery, or this could be you. You know, take the energy how they resonate. You could be looking at something over and over like this could be text messages or if you want some sort of business it's like you're you're repeatedly looking over and over it's like you worried about something i'm hearing fear i'm also hearing too fear is a, is a, uh, fear is an illusion the, uh whatever it is that's bothering you or uh, whatever entity or whatever energy that's around you they definitely don't want you to hear this message because i'm stumbling over my words trying to tell you some good shit it shouldn't work like that i'm hearing too call upon your ancestors i see this here something is being brought into balance for you i just feel like something something about details you're, you're probably having some sort of spiritual upgrade at this time i just saw the uh, wisdom card i might pull some from this deck Spirit said no. Okay. You could be walking away from something. Or you could be moving at this time. I got the Ten of Wands here. Or carrying some sort of burden that's not even yours to carry. You doing this maybe for somebody that you love. This could be family. I'm hearing they got their own lives. Everybody come here for their own soul purpose and own mission. So don't make what they got going on your problem. It's not your problem. Yeah, you definitely dealing with family here. Anytime I see something in like threes, that deal with family. I'm hearing two cousins. Yeah, this is definitely putting some sort of burden on you. You could have had um, a sudden death as well. I just feel like you could be going through a lot at this time. And it's like your mind racing. So you're just asking you to go in Herman mode. So you can gather your thoughts. That's why I saw that wisdom card earlier. The hermit is all about wisdom and using past experiences to learn from what you're going through now. You could even be stressing about some sort of relationship because you just found out that your person cheated or was cheating on you or something like that. Or something weird here because I do know the nine of cups could um denote to like nine pints of blood, you know, blood magic, if you know what I mean. And then... I got seven cups here. So some sort of illusion put you in a confused state of mind here. I'm hearing like you feel like you in a box, like you boxed in or something like that. You're definitely being divine to, gotta, to walk away from whatever this is. This could be due to some sort of addiction. I ain't even want to say that. I was going to say something else and it slipped my mind. So you could be having so much on your mind that you're forgetting shit like you moving too fast. And I feel like I'm talking extremely fast here. What a spirit. I just saw the devil card again. So some sort of addiction or something about materialism. And then I saw go over here earlier. This could be regarding some sort of car. Car accident. This came up in, in another reading that I had. Not even sure. But something about yin and yang and balance. Yeah, your mind is definitely racing here with the chariot. The chariot is all about speed. Spirit is telling you to use logic in the situation. Whatever this is, you could definitely um, manipulate or something was manipulated. Some sort of situation here is manipulated or something about manipulation. This could be a controlling person. I'm hearing like a controlling ex. I feel like you gave <clears throat> a lot to the situation, but it, it it just got you nowhere. With the Queen of Cups here, the Queen of Cups is somebody who cares. Sometimes she cares a little bit too motherfucking much. I'm hearing get out of your feelings, get out of your feelings, get out of your feelings. Then I got the death card here. So I definitely feel like you're going through some sort of transformation and rebirth here. Whatever the situation is, it's meant to teach you a lesson, but I feel like you're overthinking it. Take the lesson for what it is. Get the blessing for where they're going to come from. Because whatever this is, whatever transformation, oh my God. Whatever transformation it is you're going through, you're about to get some sort of upgrade when it comes to life. That's why I saw the Six of Swords earlier. Because the Six of Swords is all about recognition. I don't know, I heard something about a will. 
yeah with the ten of ten of pentacles here that could speak to wills or you're about to inherit something or somebody's about to come in i feel like spirit with this death and rebirth card here i feel like spirit is coming in to gift you something at first it could have been moving very slow for you but you see the the pentacles are following you it's like wherever you go you always taken care of i'm also getting to somebody something about somebody lights being off I'm also getting to the cable, the phone bill. Yeah, you could be worried, not worrying about bills at this time. But I feel like you're being stripped from something, from some people, from somebody. And once you walk away from this situation or you walk away from these negative thoughts and ways of thinking, you're going to be blessed abundantly. I'm hearing tenfold here. Now I'm hearing like that money mantra I used to see on TikTok. Something about money come to me like a money spell or some shit somebody could have put a money spell on you tried to stop your finances and it could have been it may have appeared that it had been working because you were actually going through some sort of transformation but let me get one more card i'm gonna get an oracle and then i'm gonna let y'all go i just saw sovereignty so i'm, I'm hearing the world is your oyster sovereignty it means to take control of your own life i feel like too whoever i'm speaking to you could be the type of person to give people your last and that's not always good the last sometimes is meant for you how you gonna get somebody something you don't have you ever thought about that sometimes you can't give your last but your hard work has been seen all those times you was good to people all those times that you know what i'm saying you put people first before you to help them out and they gave you they asked to kiss something is about to surprise you here look how that card was flipped i got self-love exactly like i was saying earlier i feel like spirit was assisting you watching you from a distance testing you to see what it is that you was going to do what is the next move are you going to allow this person or these people to drain you or are you going to love on yourself and realize that you know you can invest in you you don't always have to be the one that's always giving it's like you was the one giving and they got their hand out six of pentacles equal equals um ugh, it's like my mouth is stuck but the six of pentacles is like an equal give and take here so be mindful of that you know what i'm saying you got self-love assessing and, and then you got growth here so I definitely feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual upgrade or you're growing. You could even be a very tall person. Something about your roots and your DNA. I'm hearing inheritance again. I definitely feel like if like you could definitely miss out on some sort of opportunity if you don't listen to yourself and listen to your intuition. Give me something else for you. Give me one more card. I'm hearing acceptance. Accept the truth. Yeah, this could have been definitely regarding a um a masculine here. I also feel like you've been praying for love. It's coming. It's coming. You've been praying for somebody that's going to truly love you. Some people. I'm hearing your soul tribe is coming. I'm hearing you need love. That's why it was important for you to give your give that love back to yourself so you can learn how it feel to actually be loved and know what true love is when it actually comes. Yeah, I got the unexpected here. And then I got creation. So you may be walking into some sort of relationship and you might get pregnant really fast or some type of business you're um, investing in here um, is going to unexpectedly pop. Something that you created. This could be something regarding art because I'm hearing that too. Give me one more card, Spirit. One more card. I got the masculine again. So now I'm getting to, you may have been living in a lot of masculine energy here. Take it how it resonates. You could be a masculine or you, you was a female that's been living in a lot of masculine energy. Taking care of people, being patient with other people. You know, I feel like they were stopping your attraction here. But I'm getting there's a need for you to trust in the universe and be patient. I feel like you've been setting healthy boundaries here. Look up the number 1212. I'm being led to tell you that. You def definitely been setting up healthy boundaries. I definitely feel like you've been loving on yourself too. Feeling more free. Because this girl is naked here. 
and she's in her own little bubble worried about what she worried about she ain't worried about everybody else and what the fuck they got going on but anyways i love y'all i don't know why that reading felt so rushed that may be significant for somebody but i love y'all and i'll see y'all in my next fucking video Mwah. peace